Double-digit percent increase in child COVID-19 cases in two weeks. That's what the American Academy of Pediatrics is reporting nationwide. Brooke Rogers now with the story of what those numbers now mean for families locally. Nearly 800,000 children in the United States have already been infected with COVID-19, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. The group reported a 14% increase in cases from October 8th to the 22nd. Pediatrician Dr. Priya Bui says, well, that's not surprising. But the fact that it is happening so early and so quickly makes me more concerned. Testing in children has increased, she says, both because of interest and seasonal afflictions. But those aren't the only numbers she sees going up. But when you look at data from our big community partners, such, such as Cook Children's, you see that the positive cases per day are really increasing too. So that can't just be testing. Pediatricians stress that while the numbers may be rising, severe illness and death in children are still very rare. Zero to 0.23% 0 of all COVID deaths have been children. Well, because children typically are asymptomatic if they have the, the infection, they're more likely to spread of problems to other people. What I'm worried about is what happens when these kids leave school and go uh, to their homes and and uh, more importantly to see older folks. And with the holidays approaching, pediatricians say the best practice is to stick to what works. And think about what personally is essential versus not essential and try our hardest to limit some of those non-essential exposures so that way we can continue to get through this fall without a peak that we can't handle. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.